Hi everybody, it's Cameron back with Private Industry Council, um, just giving you another STEM video um, to kind of keep you engaged and entertained um, through all this social distancing and um, just a different time in our world. Um, so again, I hope everybody's staying safe. Um, this week I want to kind of continue what we worked on last week. Last week we worked on um, kind of identifying maybe places we want to relocate um, and things like that. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to follow up with that um, in terms of maybe selecting a career. Maybe you don't, maybe you have trouble identifying what, what you're good at, um, what you might be interested in doing. So today, um, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is same as last week's video, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna attach a worksheet for you um, in the bottom of the link, in the bottom of the description of the video. Um, it'll just be a URL, you'll have to copy and paste into a different um, search bar on a different internet window. Um, so again, today we're going to work on um, and talk about, kind of discuss different career clusters um, and what might go in, what skills that you have might go into that um, so in order for you to maybe match up for a career that would work well for you. Um, today we're going to talk about 16 different career clusters. There's a lot of different, a lot of different career clusters. Career um, clusters also means kind of categories um, of services and careers, industries that are um, available to you in this economy. Um, so we'll just get, we'll just jump right into it here. Um, first one, right, I don't know, I'm sorry, disclaimer, I have horrible handwriting. Um, if you didn't notice in last week's video also. Um, the first one is agriculture, food, and natural resources. Again, if you have trouble reading this, um, there will be, I will post the link um, to access the worksheet for you to work on it for yourself. There's an activity in there as well that helps you match for a career cluster, which I'll talk about after I get through this. Um, so again, let's get started for the first one, um, agriculture, food, and natural resources. Um, so in this career cluster, um, you might be able to guess, um, it's kind of just, it would be what um, farmers um, utilizing that um, produce and different foods produced with, um, with agriculture through farming, um, things like that, and just kind of putting that, those supplies to their best use, um, whether it be um, organizing that or actually producing that kind of thing. Um, so that's one career cluster you can move. Again, a lot of these career clusters kind of coincide with each other, and you, as you'll notice as I move through this. Number two, um, architecture and construction is pretty straightforward. Um, that would be whether it be whether if you are an architect, actually drawing up blueprints, um, coming up with different measurements and dimensions, passing it forward to construction, where they're actually physically putting your structure together that you that an architect would make. Um, you could be an en engineer would fall into that, um, kind of coming up with dimensions and things of that nature. So maybe some, maybe if you're more interested in mathematics, um, solving problems, um, crunching numbers, things like that, that might be a career cluster for interest. Um, the third cluster, um, arts, um, AV technology and communications. So that would be um, maybe some, maybe someone, maybe if you're into um, being um, an actor, being um, yeah, for me in the performing arts and communications, that would be um, something for you. Um, that's that would be sort of along the lines of uh, performing arts or um, communications aspect. That would be along the lines of uh, like uh, marketing, which is something we'll get into more specifically. Um, the fourth one, so that business management and administration. This is one that kind of falls into all parts of the economy. It just depends on what specific uh, what specific specification you're looking at. Um, so this business management administration, these are positions that um, help businesses specify and really improve in different areas. Um, so there was, you got your um, human resources, um, communicating with um, employees, making, um, making up different policies and things like that. Um, business management aspect of it, um, actually managing employees day to day. Um, so if you're, if you're good at um, getting along with different people quickly, um, working well with others, this might be a career cluster that you could look into. Um, business degrees um, for higher in higher education, they're pretty easily found. Um, so it's not, it's not exactly hard to find in terms of finding a school that offers a business degree. Um, so the next one, pretty straightforward again, education and training, that's, that's your, your teachers, um, your, your trainers. Um, so like what I'm, do, what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm teaching. Um, I'm not necessarily in the education field, but um, Teaching, um, obviously, um, just being able to handle yourself well and for a lot for a long period of time. Um, training, being able to properly train people and have them um, 
not only learn the information but retain it as well. That's something that um, if you're really good at um, teaching people something, that's that might be something that you might look into further down the road as a career. Um, six, finance. That's um, that would be your bankers, um, your financial advisors. Um, so again, that also has something to do with um, customer interaction. If you enjoy um, helping others, and then you all you also enjoy um, the aspect of money. If you think that um, guiding others in that in that realm. Um, also, if you're good at um, good at handling money, good at math, that might be something for you as well to consider. Um, okay, so moving on. Uh, I know I'm, I'm moving forward pretty fast. Forward pretty fast here. Um, so again, in the worksheet, um, there is a more a further explanation of what I will be, what I'm talking about. I'm just kind of going over it briefly for you. Um, so let's just get back into it here. Number seven, um, government and public administration. So that would be um, maybe lo it would be range for um, to, from local government to state government all the way up to federal government. Um, these are people that um, communicate, work with each other to create different policies. Um, policies, procedures, um, that people, that citizens must follow. Um, just if so, if you're really good again at communicating, um, really good at compromising, and um, just being a good listener to what other people have to say, that might be something um, right up your alley. Okay, again, there's 16 of these, so um, we got to move into different another different page here. Okay, so right on number eight, health sciences. That's your. Um, those would be. Um, your nurses, your doctors, um, just kind of um, learning what what the body's all about, what um, what different functions the body has and can do, um, and then how to how to um, maybe heal different functions if something if, if something in someone's body isn't functioning correctly. Um, just being someone that um, the community can rely on to um, diagnose them and treat whatever problem it is they might have. Um, that might be a career cluster if you're interested in uh, in helping people. Um, helping people heal is um, is something that's obviously very important. So it's going to be a job that's always in high demand, um, especially actually during these these trying times that we're in. We uh, with me making different videos for you. Um, healthcare workers are, are our heroes day to day, whether it be during a pandemic or just every other day. Um, number nine, hospitality and tourism. These are um, your people that help you. Um, Help you arrange vacations for your family. Help you um, help you recognize where you might want to go, might not want to go on a, on a family vacation. Help you organize trips. Um, are very knowledgeable of different pla of the places that they are um, that they are employed at. Um, also, these are people that are managers of places like hotels, motels. Um, they're very they're very knowledgeable and very helpful at. Um, at assisting people in um, enjoying what they're doing, whether it be again staying at a hotel, um, staying at a resort, a vacation resort, having um, making sure everybody knows exactly what they're doing, where they're doing it at. Again, whether it be visiting a landmark, um, visiting a hotel, um, just being very knowledgeable and very helpful to people that they interact with. Again, if you're seeing a common theme here, um, something that is very a very marketable skill to have. That you hear me say quite often is communicating with people. Um, communicating with people is very essential in order to just succeed in any career. Um, just that was just kind of a side note. Number ten, um, human services. That's kind of um, kind of what I do here at Private Industry Council. I help people that um, that might not have access to different services um, regularly, whether it be um, whether it be employment, whether it be education. Um, just just helping people that might be in need that might not have access to things that uh, that they that normally wouldn't. So it kind of is in relation to health science, um, but we were we're we're helping people find um, different things that aren't necessarily health related. Um, these are more economically related, um, and referring them to agencies that can help them. Um, just being a resource for people that can uh, people that people can go to um, that can be reliable and have a reputable place to reference them to. Um, number 11, information technology. These, this is the um, cluster that focuses a lot more on um, technology based. Um, <laughs> obviously, because technology is in the name. But um, information technology are people that work with, um, that, are, that provide assistance to people with computer problems. That's um, a lot of organizations have um, information technology or IT departments for sure um, to kind of provide assistance and help help uh, organizations move into the next level technologically, um, help them get get through different issues with the least amount of problems as possible. 
Um, these jobs have been growing recently just because of uh, how technologically advanced our, um, our society has become. Um, so again, that's a, um, a very important cluster that, um, that there's a lot of the jobs available. Um, moving right along here, number 12, um, law, public safety, corrections, and security. So this is a cluster that um, covers a lot. Um, so you'll so we'll start with the law part. That's your um, your lawyers, um, your judges advocating for um, what's right or wrong, advocating, going along with um, what I mentioned earlier, um, number seven with the government cluster. Um, they kind of work hand in hand there. Um, law, they're actually carrying out the law. Public safety, um, that's your police, um, your security guards, which again comes in the security. Um, and then there's the corrections portion of this cluster, which is um, working with um, people that might be um, that might have had some trouble, um, and then just kind of helping them along their their way to um, working their way towards being um, being out of trouble, <laughs> I guess simply put. Um, so that could be maybe like probation officers, um, parole officers, things like that. Um, so again, this has to do with helping people as well. Um, it's just kind of, it's just more along the lines of making people are compliant with what they're doing. Um, so that would be, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, that would be a good cluster to kind of look into. Um, 13, again, pretty straightforward, manufacturing. That would be um, working, in, working in your warehouses, working in your factories. Um, if, you, if you're someone that, that, likes doing, um, that likes doing consistent work, that likes, um, that enjoys um, doing a lot of actions with um, exercising your motor skills, um, moving along maybe an assembly line, doing something that you can um, really, really grasp and get good at. Um, manufacturing is something you could look into. Um, 14, marketing slash advertising. Again, that goes along with the, um, the business management cluster that I mentioned earlier in this um, video. Um, that would be, this would be a lot of, um, a lot of going out, of so, um, socializing with people, um, learning what their needs might be. Um, and also along with that is kind of gauging, um, gauging areas, areas of residency um, kind of gauging what the demographics are there, what kind of people live there, um, and if they would be interested in what you're trying to sell and advertise to them. Um, so that, again, that goes along with business management because um, that helps a business function higher if they can advertise and get the word out on what they're trying to accomplish. Um, marketing and advertising would be for you if you enjoy um, being confident in what you're trying to advertise or sell. Um, that, that would be a career cluster to look into. Um, okay, getting right down to it here, um, the 15th career cluster mentioned in this worksheet, um, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, that would be um, your scientists, okay, um, your biologists, um, different things of that nature, just kind of, just trying to improve the technicalities of our, um, of our world. There are a lot of jobs opening up in this cluster, just because of the amount of research that needs done on different things, again, whether it be in any of these any of these categories, um, research in science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. Um, there's a lot of different just, um, just advancement uh, research that needs to be done in those categories. Okay, so we'll move on to the last one here, um, transportation, distribution, and logistics. So the, again, I'll just break this down to each part. Transportation, that's your kind of, that would be um, your, your maybe there's a, there's a few a few portions of transportation. There's your um, you're transporting um, deliveries, whether it be local deliveries, like for example, like your FedEx, Amazon, um, UPS, things of that nature. Um, there's the distribution portion of it, where which each of those places that I just mentioned have distribution centers, where that would have to be um, they would be distributed in order to be transported to different destinations. And then there's the logistics portion of that, where you would be identifying maybe identifying areas to um, distribute the, uh, the ordered items to. Um, that's, a very, that's something very important, um, shipping, shipping different products from businesses. Again, something that I mentioned before is a lot of these clusters do move hand in hand. So even if, for example, even if you are looking into the cluster of business management administration, you might find when you're looking for careers that they might fill in to a cluster such as marketing slash advertising. It's not, again, one, picking one cluster doesn't exactly tie you to 
a very specific job. So it's very important to kind of keep your options open. So with that being said, I wanted to move to the part of this worksheet that again, you will be able to find the link to the, the URL to this in the um, description of this video. Um, all you'll need to do is simply copy and paste it into a search bar on an internet window and you will be able to go to it. Now the first part of this, I just went over the different clusters. What you'll find is you will go through, there's going to be 16 boxes. Now if you notice, there's also 16 clusters. So what it's going to ask you is, there's going to be three different boxes and you're going to need to circle each one that you think describes you the best. So it starts with activities that describe what you like to do. That's the first one. The second one is personal qualities that describe you. And the third one is school subjects that you like. Now, for all 16 boxes, there's going to be activities, personal qualities, and school subjects that are very much related to each career cluster, all 16. So again, there will be 16 boxes, and you're going to go through three categories for each box. And you're going to, what's, what's going to happen is you're going to calculate the total number of times you circled something in that, group, in that box. So again, what it's going to ask you to do is, after you're done with all 16 of those boxes, it's going to ask you to kind of go through each box and see which top, what your top three circled boxes were. Or top, yeah, boxes with your top three. So then from there, so for instance, say if box one, so my, say my top three circled boxes were box four, box 10, and box nine. So my three top career clusters were, again, so if we're looking at box number four, mine was business management and administration, human services, and hospitality and tourism. So just about me in that quick one is you can tell that I, I'm business management. That means I like, I enjoy, I enjoy interacting with people. I enjoy leading people towards a common goal to move businesses forward. Um, human services, I enjoy helping people gain gain employment, helping people um, out, maybe referring them to agencies that they might not have known about before that can help them in a better way. Um, hospitality and tourism, I, I enjoy being very knowledgeable about the product that I'm selling or product that I'm trying to um, work work on with people. Um, I enjoy people being well informed um, and just enjoying themselves in the, in the activity that they're participating with me in. Um, so that's that was just about do it for today, for this week's session. Um, next week, so if you'll follow along with me, um, if you, what you want to do is um, maybe work on these career clusters. And next week, what we're going to do is we are going to work on a what's called a spending plan. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to come up with an average salary that you would make, and we're going to work through this together. Um, and then we're going to, from there, you can develop a budget, and we will get you right on your way in terms of identifying a career, um, budgeting for that career, and things of that nature. So um, everybody, again, stay safe, have a good week, and we'll see you next time.